the A4000D slash WCK water conversion kit for the Stuart Aquatron A4000D and A8000 consists of a float switch assembly you've got the deionizer tube assembly you've got the Jubilee clip straight connector and a plug this video is about the installation of the A4000D slash WCK water conversion kit to the Stuart Aquatron A8000. The first thing we need to do is to check that the electrics are disconnected from a unit and it is electrically safe to actually work on. There is no mains water connected as you can see, no electrics connected. This is a new unit. Your, your unit is probably connected, uh, so ensure that it is disconnected before you do any maintenance on it. The first thing we have to do is to remove the, the front cover. We then need to remove the lid and the side panel. So we can remove the six screws from the top. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just removing two screws. Remove the lid and remove the side panel. Once they are removed, we then need to remove the switch panel. To do that, we undo the one countersunk screw and lift the panel out itself like so. That will give us give us better access to the plumbing inside. The first thing to do is to disconnect the tubing from the boiler controller. This is indicated by number five. So we disconnect that. We then fit our plug to the connection there to block off the pipe. As you can see. The cold water will then come up through the condensers, come out the top of the condensers, down, and then out to the drain. That will then create our cold water atmosphere inside our condenser. The next thing to do is to connect our deionizer pipe assembly to our deionized or pre-treated water inlet. And we connect it to the, the solenoid there. First thing we need to do is to put our Jubilee clip onto our pipe. And you can see we fit the pipe in there and onto the solenoid. As you see. The Jubilee clip is then tightened up on there. Your deionized water can then come through to your solenoid and through the pipe. The connection from our deionized pipe assembly is then connected to our boiler level control, like so. When we've connected our deionized pipe, we then need to take the earth, like so, up through the hole in the chassis there, you then need to disconnect the nut on there, place that on, tighten the nut up like so. We then fit our float switch assembly to our controller. First of all, we undo the black cap and we can release the funnel and remove the black cap.
We then remove the seal because the float switch assembly has already got a seal on it. And then we connect our float switch with our seal to our boiler controller. At the bottom, you can see there is a cutout at the bottom of the boiler controller, and that is where the bottom of the float switch assembly will sit. We then tighten up the black cap, like so. We then remove the blank from our plug, and we connect the plug from our float switch assembly into our socket, like so. We can then remove our dummy cap from our deionized or pre-treated water inlet and we can place our straight connector on there like so. You can then connect to that with suitable tubing your deionized or pre-treated water. With the uh, water conversion kit fitted, the last thing to do is to fit the lid, fit the side panel and fit the uh, switch panel. When that's been done, you can then operate the unit and ensure that there's no leaks uh, inside the unit itself. Also check that the float switch operates and actually cuts off the flow of the deionized de or pre-treated water into the boiler control. When you've checked that and everything's okay, then you can put the front cover back on and your uh, Aquatron is ready to go.